hi everyone and welcome back so today we'll cover the the next questions which uh, you may face in the react interview questions so first we'll talk about the the real dom and virtual dom you already know this uh, virtual dom is one of the feature of the react virtual dom is actually applying the dom so whenever you change the state it actually calculating that what part need to be uh, what changes need to be applied on the DOM. So virtual DOM keeps comparing itself in the, to the actual DOM and then it apply those changes on the actual DOM. So real DOM, if you talk about the real DOM object, which you see on the browser window, it's actually updated slowly. Virtual DOM updating, getting updated fast. So real DOM uh, directly update the HTML, but the virtual DOM is not updating the HTML directly. So virtual DOM is updating the JSX if elements updated, right? But the Real DOM is actually creating the DOM if needed and applying that DOM onto the browser. So DOM manipulation on the real DOM is heavy which jQuery and other uh, old frameworks are doing. What they were doing, they were actually dealing with actual DOM and doing the DOM manipulation at that point. But DOM manipulation is very easy and we are using the optimized algorithm to apply the, the manipulations on the virtual DOM. Okay. Next question you, you may face is the state and props differences. So you already know that these are the only two things which where the complete React moves around. So React is React has a state and props. State is a mutable uh, object and props is immutable object, right? So so we will talk about these different points and we are marking them yes no. So receives initial value from the parent component state yes props yes. Parent component can change the value of the state no props uh, can be changed set default value inside a component both can be initialized using get default props or get initial state set initial value for the child component both are applied changes inside a child component state cannot be changed as it is immutable but props can be changed now another thing is uh, we already talked about the it stateful and stateless component in react stateful you already know which is storing the state of the component and which is having the either constructor state initialization or initializing the state using get initial state method um, which has authority to change the state using some DOM event so it has the complete knowledge of past present and current what what is the value of the state stateless components notify them about the requirement of the state change okay so stateful is something which is having the state and it is passing the state object down to the child component similarly we have a stateful component uh, stateless component which doesn't have any knowledge about the state these are these are just a simple component which having some gsx and rendering the data from the parent component okay control component and uncontrolled component so control component uh, do not maintain their own state we talked about the text field where the text fields values are being populated from the this dot state dot value so in that case the value of the text field is being driven by the react okay so that is being controlled by the component not by the user and controlled component they maintain their own state like uh, you are typing in the text field where the value of the text field is not coming from the state data is controlled by the DOM okay these are the major differences uh, so same uh, let's talk about uh, the Redux here so Redux is uh, one of the library which react use to isolate the the state from the component so there is no cascade update will be happening because we have isolated the store or the state object from all the components now individually come individually component will go open the door get the state and come back similarly another another component will go change the state and will come back so this is the this is providing the one-way data flow and providing the state management and it is giving you the feature where you can do the time travel on the state what is the state at the time what is the new state what will be the new state after this action okay so the component of the redux are action reducers store and view so this is like action which which we are triggering like uh, get account data reducers are actually a place to determine what can be the new what can be the the next state so this is the predictable state container store is actually the comp complete application from where we are fetching the data and view is simply your react components okay so that's it uh, in the next video we will talk uh, more about more questions on to the react and redux let's cover few more
So flux and redux, these are actually uh, in-depth comparison that what is a flux, what is a redux. So I'm not covering flux here, nobody is going to ask you about the flux on the, the redux. Redux is actually based on three principles. Redux is actually managing the complete state in a state tree. Redux is providing the predictable state container where you can based on the action you can predict that what is the next state going to be. Okay. And Redux is actually providing you the one central point to the manage the, to manage the complete state which is immutable. So whenever you are updating it is giving you the new state object. Okay. So there may be a more questions about the optimizing the, the React performance where you can do the lazy loading of the components and uh, using the webpack bundling and use the webpack 4 where you can do a lot of optimization with the help of different plugins use the prod flag while creating the webpack 4 build it will give you the optimized performance similarly how we how we can bootstrap the application using create react app and all so in the next video we will talk more about uh, the interview questions